Hey guys and welcome back, it is Jaff Master Flash and how are you all doing on this beautiful day? We are back in Forza Horizon 4 and this is the Greendale Club Circuit. If we're at the Greendale Club Circuit, we can only be here for one reason and the, that reason is the Gargantuan. Look at this Ferrari 458. What do you think about that? <laughs> I say it's a 458 because it's the 458 front end with something out of Tron on the back end. Hmm, not too sure what that back end is, but the front end is definitely a 458 Italia, or in my opinion, is a 458 Italia, especially with the long sweeping headlights. I've, I can't, it's mistakable, it's unmistakable. It seems as a Ferrari, a front end of a Ferrari was married with something not too sure back end of a donkey maybe but no um i find the the weird uh the the, the brake strip on the back long brake light um a bit weird however the way this car drives is unbelievable it really really surprised me um before we get into it uh, if you guys want this tune this tune is at the end of the video as well you can share it you can get it yourself if you follow me in game as a creator the gamer tag is Jav Master Flash and download it but back to it this car did really really surprise me as a driver it really did um, I expected it to be all over the place I expected it to be a lot like um, his older brother the a seven. I expected it to be all over the place, um, but I was actually quite shocked. I was really shocked just how good it actually is. Um, it's a little bit slow on the pickup, but again, that could have been done to me and my tuning. But when you get it going, it really does. You know, it really does take off. It really does stick the road, especially up around this tricky mountainside up the mountain and down the mountain it seemed to do really well on the other hand it does understeer a little bit but then again that could be um, it could be down to my tuning but didn't spend as much time on this tune as the last one but however um, yeah it just felt a little bit understeery but apart from that it just looks and felt well, the front end looks and felt awesome. Um, not too sure if I like the back end too much. Don't know why. Um, ex I'm expecting it. It's probably because of the front end. I'm expecting it to see um, a Ferrari. But um, yeah, what a car. What a great, great car. Um, it's really, really good. In all fairness, uh, I see it's really good. Um, the time didn't do itself justice. Uh, it really didn't um, get a little bit skewer for them going off camber but being gapped by the old Audi the old OP, OP Audi until you actually get in the Audi and drive the Audi yourself and then it's no longer OP it's just a regular Audi <laughs> but guys I really hope um, you're all well I'd love to hear from you and what car you'd like to see next around um, the Gargantuan circuit. If you want to see the older brother, the Celine S7, uh, you'll have to let me know and I shall get on that. I think the next up is the Aerial Atom, um, as I did the BAC a few weeks ago. So I thought I'd bring the um, Aerial Atom out and see how that uh, got on around here. but. Fair play, this um, Celine really, really did surprise me. Really, really did surprise me, and I was uh, happily surprised. Really happy, su happily surprised. I hope you guys enjoy this. I really do. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you think of this, and I'll get back to you. Um, what do you think of the back end of this car? Me personally. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it at all. Don't know why. It just, it just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> Seeing it married to the front of the Ferrari, it really doesn't. But hey, 
it's a Celine, it's not a Ferrari. As I said, I hope you guys are all well, I really do, um, especially in these trying times. Um, I hope you are all safe and I really hope you enjoy this video. As I said, let me know down in the comments below what you think about it and I shall catch you in the next one. Peace.